Thanks to Sam, we're back with Woo the Poet. We're back. I gotta say it right, Woo the That's Poet. <laughs> okay, as far as collaborations, is there anybody you have in mind that you'd like to collab with? Um, potentially. Yes. Um, I guess with music, um, I got my boy Old Man Willie, um, Ronnie VOP. Uh, there's a couple dope Miami artists that I would definitely want to collab with. Uh, you got Flo Kid, you got King Hoodie. So you'll keep it King local. UIFL. Yeah. You're born and raised in Miami. Mm-hmm. Awesome. Definitely. I mean, there's like artists elsewhere that I would want to work with, but I do like our local talent. I do feel like we're underrated, um, and I feel like we really do have a hub and a collection of artists who are fire, who will one day eventually be known on a global scale or a national scale, whatever. Um, and I just feel like we're just not tapped in yet, but we will. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, we, we we influence, it seems like we influence everyone. And the great thing about Miami is this beautiful melting pot right. of people and, oh my gosh, yeah, and art, right? right? So your collaborations and up and coming, what do you have planned for us, your audience? Up and coming, um, so I'm working on an EP right now. Ah. I'm not going to tell you guys the name yet, but I got ah. an EP coming out soon. So you're trying to keep that hush hush. I'm trying to keep it, but hey, it is what it is. Okay. Uh, I'm working on an EP right now, so that'll be out very shortly. Um, I'm also writing a book, mm -hmm. so that I'll also be out very shortly. So the um, book would be poems, book of poetry, yeah, or book of poetry. okay, okay, all right. Yeah, definitely writing a book. Um, I actually just released a song on Friday. Um, it's called "The Crawl." The crawl. The crawl. Okay, like so, I'm crawling. Mm -hmm. Okay. It's about just um, the journey, the process, nice. um, and remaining true to yourself. And I just feel like sometimes as creatives. We get down on ourselves about the timing. We feel like we're supposed to be successful or we're supposed to be at a certain point at a certain time. And we compare ourselves to other people. And I always say comparison is the theft of your joy. It is. You get what I'm saying? Because you're so focused on someone else that you're not paying attention to what's right in front of you. Mm -hmm. And you're not appreciating the blessings that are coming along and not realizing that um, I guess the detours do not deny the destination. Mm -hmm. That sometimes you have to go through different parts to realize what your journey truly means to you. That way you can appreciate it in the end. Nice. Let so, alliteration. Yeah. Yeah. Detours don't deny the destination. The D, 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 D. Yeah. Yes. Listen, so your journey, it seems like you're so grounded and humble at the same time. What is it? What is it that keeps you grounded? Like spirituality? What is mm -hmm. it? Like you sound like you have just a wealth of knowledge and that you're very laid back until it's time for him to perform ladies and gentlemen he turns <laughs> into this like i don't know you just have this reverence and this your stage presence is and i'm not just saying this you guys really got to check him out like he is amazing i appreciate that um, so what is it what, what what is it do you do you what meditate pray i don't know i think i'm just rooted in my spirituality, um, my mother, she raised me in a church. Mm -hmm. But I just, I don't know, I guess I'm just confident in myself. And I know where I'm going. I understand my purpose and my mission. So I don't really get stressed out by, I guess, the stresses of this world. You know nice. what I'm saying? Whatever obstacles are thrown my way, it's just like I understand that it's just what comes with life. So you've been in lab cooking. I've just been cooking. Nice. You know what I'm saying? And I just love the fact that I get paid to do what I would do for free. You know what I'm saying? Like, I genuinely enjoy what I do when I wake up and I go to the lab or I go to my photo shoots or whatever it is that I have to do. I genuinely enjoy this life for myself. Because you model as well. Yeah, I model Listen, too. Listen, Renaissance men, Renaissance. You, know you tapped into acting yet? Yeah, I want to. Right. Um, I actually just got an acting coach. And I just feel like I want to do everything that my heart desires. Mm. So that's just pretty much what I'm about. So your dad probably says, oh, Tetley Babon, he's crazy. Like... Right? I'm going to have to show him someday. I know. That's right. Yes. Love yeah. it. Love it. So as far as your future endeavors, you talked about your EP, your mm -hmm. music, your book. Yeah. Anything else on the table? Uh, that's about it. I don't want to give away too much. Okay. Um, okay. I do like to have this sense of mystery around myself. Nice. So that is all I can give y'all for now. That's it for Rule the Poet. We're closed in just a few, you guys. Be sure to check them out. Rule the Poet. We'll be right back in just a few.